Walking through the city. <laughs> you know you have to survive. Oh, oh no! Wait, I, think I, I think I I think I just killed the singer. Oh, no. Little off the top, Max. Here we need to get this building off because this building is what had Conscience the entire Max. cloning Remember facility. Oh, oh. That cloning wow! This is where Charlie Hotep had hidden it. Wow, they look a lot smaller than I remember. But there we go. There's our last slide. I wonder you why. Are you going to keep controlling Max? Uh, we're going to go back to the I'm brain. Done. I want to go back. And with that said, Eldritch Abomination Max has served his purpose mm. for now. See. Now I let's go to, to those cloning chamber. I'm still a little Another mad that they made I think that it's they made a Cthulhu this toy robot business most based popular. a reasonable facsimile of my face. Well, yeah, that's the Eldritch Speed. That, that's what people immediately think is Eldritch, even though there are a lot of other cool ones I, like the Shogun. I guess like ju just going to say, Cthulhu is the fucking Dionysus of his pantheon. He is but weak, the, but he Ooh. was the most marketable. Oh, Flint! Hey, keep Flint. going. Oh my, what's that? Knife in your shoulder? Oh wow! Oh jeez! Holy <laughs> shit! I didn't he see just that killed one that man. Mm, so <laughs> is You're getting along with my Oh, but he's been cloning of all of the. Minions. So he's been cloning himself in a new army. Oh. oh. And you know what? I just realized it's probably smart that he's, he's cloning his books as opposed to himself. Because if he cloned himself, that would create more problems for him. Yeah. What? It's a prison. Ah. No Earth prison can hold me with my unstoppable Jeez, army. Jeez, Skunk Cave, you just don't know when to quit. Yeah, newly seriously. Newly reformed. <laughs> newly reformed. I wonder how long it'll be before they break, them, break, they break that knot again. Our plan cannot fail. Oh, he has the robot. <laughs> the Cathonic Destroyer. You just forgot one thing. The self-destruct sequence. What? What? <laughs> this cloning chamber doesn't have a self-destruct sequence. Maybe not. But he does. Oop. Oh shit! I think this is. I think. I think we came at an awkward time. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm. Can override the bomb? Yes, my queen. I'm doing it, darling. And that's the problem when you're. That, well, that, well, I was gonna say that's the problem when you're typing like hunt and peck style. You gotta be able to use all fingers. She probably doesn't know how to type fully. Oop. You know, thinking about now. Imagine if the, po the imagine the poor sap who played this episode before. Wait, 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 what? Stinky's a mermaid. Wait, 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 what? Seriously, Sam, try to keep up. Stinky's a mermaid. <laughs> what? Those are Finn. I guess that explains all the seashells. But okay, that and that part as a joke. Yeah, that part the series Oops. never bothers explaining. Oh, yes, apparently Stinky is a mermaid and a magic cake. cake. I I'm so confused. Oh, oh, she, she, you know what? The magic, the magic cake, so anything goes at this point. I actually suspected the mermaid thing slightly because of the hair Looks and like some kind of but that's just machine. Good also, are we going to talk? Also, are we going to talk about how there's an ape thing with its head jammed into the security console to the left of us? Oh, let me try to see if I can get a better Anyway, first fog machine. Oh, pay no mind. That's just Flint's handiwork. Yeah. Good thing I've been practicing my yoga during this whole crisis. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. Whoop. Yeah, he's like, oh. Honestly, honestly, he didn't even have to do uh, all that yoga. He just, cr uh, he just crawl under that, that gap. It's a basically, I feel like it's just basically uh, just flail the animation a bit and then have him appear on the other side. Yeah. Okay, we're done Wait. Thank you. Wait. I'm surprised he didn't do the downward dog. They were digging all this... All this all this time they were digging this tunnel. That's why she was giving us granite sandwiches back in season two. Huh. huh. The rock sandwiches. What were you trying to say, James? And, no, there's actually a lot of plot going on here. Check it's it. An old video Listen. Projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog, and you can make it look like anything. It just appeared out of thin air. Stinky was never a cake to begin with. Wait, what? Hey, they used this projector that's to make it look the like the cake of the damned. The recipe, the well, how does it then explain the how, the how it's all tangible? Or so that poor sap grandpa stinky Or maybe, we'll, or then again, no, we never did touch it, so. Just call this well, then again, we did, shove a, we did shove a rib in it. So, so, so wait, this whole time she is a mermaid and not Jinky. a cake. It's a close circuit. I guess so. Okay, then. I thought she was totally a cake, but I guess the projector was just a fool for one. Yeah, looky. And yes, they are trying to rapidly, hurriedly explain it all before this series ends. I figured, anyway. I figured her just being a cake was enough, but I guess not. But here, we have another photo. Oh, it's the toy box. Sim, sim, looky, to looky, skunk ape. Even though he saw what? them being destroyed. The box? No, he didn't. He wasn't there me? at the. Uh, 
He wasn't there at the statue. Oh, right? The devil's toy box. <laughs> so. <laughs> and of course, he's right on his way. Willing to risk it all. They said the toy box had been destroyed. Yeah, well, they say a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Talking clone. Oh, now I see. You have come to make things difficult for me again. Yes, Sam. Yes, it's like having an arch nemesis. This is actually kind of cool. Hand over that toy yeah. robot, and I'll I was wondering who would be the like basically <laughs> final boss in this. You're hardly in a position. To I mean, make besides the super ego, yeah. Why who wants to destroy the country? Toy instead of simply taking what I the want. biggest obstacle aside from that is why. But for twenty three forty eight, because if you don't, I'll blow up the toy box once and for all. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. The explosion would destroy you along with half the city. You know where they're destroy only destroy this city half to save my best this pal. body. Besides, right? I'm using a loner body. Yeah, a loner body. You're serious? I'm just crazy enough to do Here it. Go. No, yeah. Take the robot. <laughs> Yay! Go <laughs> I, I think he said robot. There. <laughs> yeah. I love that robot. Oh, well. Good timing, huh? What is he doing? Now I better get this robot into Max's brain before Skunk Ape realizes he's been flamboozled. You know yeah, I thanks, can't thanks allow the, you. Thankfully the bomb's gone. Okay, we should get out of here. Yeah, go, 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 what, go, go. Uh, it was collapsed. Kind of think of it, is that time well, limit actually a thing? Like, during the sequence? So little time left to save Max. Like, Dude, will the gonna... Sam blow up? No, no, they, yeah, they got rid of the bomb. Or they deactivated well, it. Well, no, no, no. Well, he meant before it. Yeah, well, it was that. You got everything under control here, Flint? Ah, oh, this is as easy as picking lice from a hobo's. You hear that? Again with the hobo's. What's his problem? I don't like. I don't get where he keeps mentioning the hobo's. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! How are oh, these clones? That's Grandpa oh, Stinky. Oh, or, oh, oh, hello. What? Yeah, they remember they sw that, they must have swapped brains, and that's oh. why Grandpa. That's why the ape's brain was in the oh, Grandpa boy. Stinky. So Grandpa Stinky's brain is in a monkey. Ba, ba, ba. I'm sure they'll fix that. Hopefully they'll. Get his real body back. There's a lot happening right now. Sam to rescue team. Sam to rescue team. Robot what? Acquired. What? No. Eat me. Wait. Oh, Eat I forgot. Me. Oh, Don't question it. Don't question it. Yo. Max. Remember, remember swallow before you chew. Chew before oh. I swallow. Got it. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> there you go. There you are. Hey. hey thank you. No. Salute. Get back. Get back to the stomach. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Can somebody just that... put Sal, Sal's <laughs> body him somewhere. Up. Yes, Why seriously. is his body still there? I don't want to touch a. I guess they don't have a proper burial. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yep, it still works. Uh, Skunk Ape must have put it back together himself. Watch that trigger. Now let's see. Once we blast away that dark matter, we should have enough time to remove the. Uh uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no! Seriously? Oh, no. I think my water just Wait, listen. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> what? Pennies? Sam, Her water you. broke and the water yeah. is pennies because Abraham Lincoln. There, yeah. God damn it. No oh, oh, God damn it. Inside a horrible God damn it. monster. Oh no. My best friend, and we're running out oh of my gosh, this is kind of getting a little bit stressful. What? Huh? What? Who said Who said that? Save Max, I'm guessing. Save yeah. Max's brain is remembering. Oh. I don't know whether Max is, Max actually cares or. No, he does. Oh. The most wondrous thing has happened. It hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to unless we move. What? Oh yes, the pain. <laughs> Wait a second. No, Wait a second. Should this guy be in color, considering he's out of his happy place? Who's this guy? He's basically, right back, and, and basically, okay. okay. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> Ow. And basically, and basically, the super ego is happy because for once Max is doing a generously good thing. Aww. Max is worth saving after all. Told you so. Go save Sybil. <laughs> I will stay here and shape. remove Damn this wretched tumor. But how do we get out of here in time? Huh? No doubt there's something in here you've overlooked. Oh. What do we overlook? Uh, hmm. what did we out of here? Sorry, Sybil. We're getting out of here soon. It's gonna be pushy for a little few few more minutes. Wait, wait. Oh, the record shop. It's Max's oh, yeah. collection of ideas for novels in audiobook on vinyl form. <laughs> All of his ideas for books. Wow. 
Are you there, great bear spirit? It's me, Mary. It's Max's heartfelt hey. Inuit coming of age Inuit story. Kind of age Are you story. there, great bear spirit? It's me, Kanutswa. God damn it! Aww. I was trying to make the right... Damn it! Let's see. A killing comes to murder's oh. burn. A flint paper. Wait, what's Kanutsuluk? Oh, this is the hard-boiled noir fan fiction Max was telling me about. Oh, man, what's ah. what's Kanutsuluk, Matt? No, no, it's a ghastly man. I'm talking. It's a loosely it's a reference He's talking to about the book. That it's a horror. reference to the book. Are you there, God? It's me, Mary. That's Max's yeah. gripping oh. historical <laughs> fiction thriller. Was that turned to a movie villain. too? I also, think? coincidentally, the name of know. Max's experimental fusion jazz band. Huh. All right, so we got all these books. Let's so, see. which one do we use? Let's try this one. Eli Whitney. What does this one do when I play this thought? Professor Robert von Ungwen flashed his ID card at the receptionist of the National Institute of Historical Science. The Professor von Ungwen kissed the receptionist. World you know, I'm missing attention to detail if Max's equipment. head was literally the speaker. God, you've come. That'd be cute if it just popped up. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Yeah, that's uh, nothing. Let's have what the happenstance a ghastly manner. I do wonder if anyone's ever recorded and uploaded the entirety of Max reading off all those. Zack ran down the hallway. The vision's enough. coming fast and furious now. Why don't you just a listen the whole time? Of pus, an ocelot wearing later hosen. Whoa. A beautiful red-haired woman gets a paper cut on her thumb. But when she tries to use a spray on a subject, wow, yeah. the wow. bottle Mac starts screaming at her. Wow, Mac actually has a lot of writing. I'll say. Uh, Whatever the about a killing comes to Murdersburg before I use the clean. obvious puzzle solution. Hmm. Shh. Alright, now for that noir fan fiction. Do do. Flint Paper leaned back in his chair and poured himself another fifth of pineapple schnapps. He just killed a great white shark with his bare hands. Wow. Was about to skin it to a pulp. I think it's like I totally see it. When Same. She walked in. She was tall. Isn't it true that if you punch one in the nose, two. it would piss off? Plus, she had two yeah. eyes, yes. which were both locked. Because the things. nose is like how they see, isn't it? Uh, not really. It's more how they just track stuff. Right, so if you punch it, it's like it's gonna be dazed and confused. Yep. Now then, about, yep. about the one that actually works. Here's Slack wipes the last remaining icor and blubber from his carving knife, then sat down on the one patch of ice not covered by walrus intestines. Mm -hmm. Why so sad? Asked Paco, his faithful deer tick companion. It was a deer clean tick kill. companion. I know, soft Knutch look, but there was no one here to see it. Whoa. Oh boy. Axis. Oh wow. Even thinking of that story, the old Max is all crying. Oh, and we got a tear duct. I can't oh. remember the last time I saw him cry. Yeah, the last time we saw him cry was in season one. Well, except when he yeah. was trying With the, the onion gun into a false sense of security. Or that. All right, everybody. So Let's now it's time for us to escape to the tear duct. Do, 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 do. Good luck, Max's super ego. We're all counting on you. Don't worry, Sam. I'll have Max back to his normal, impetuous, wonderful self in five minutes. Just go. Let's hope nothing hurry. happens in the next four minutes and fifty-nine seconds. <laughs> Good Please hurry before I change my the mind. Will impact in four minutes. Also, I guess we're just gonna leave Dude. Sal. Bye, Sal. Well, he's, he's already dead, dead anyway. So... Yep. Wait a minute. Oh. What about <laughs> Sam Junior? Wait. What well, about we Sam Junior? Uh, yeah, he's in our park. Oh. Oh no, he's in the stomach still. This is oh, right. Wait. Oh. That's his nose. <laughs> Dude, uh, gross. Hey, wow. just be thankful they ain't that, snot. That baby that can't be should good be for the baby. Well, that that baby so, should yeah, be dead it? by this point. Oop. Dude, there's been several up. instances in this game where he sh where that, that thing should have been dead. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know, all that. I'm just real. All that time we never did oh. use the soda. That's Lincoln pandemic. But you keep it uh, down. Uh, okay. Our head is killing us. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? So, Whoa. of course we don't we get were, to. Oh, never mind. We were too late. Wait for real? Quick, giant Max, get out of there! The last main Tron is headed your way. Oh, devil oh, damn it! I know exactly oh, thank, what's happening here. Thank, thank goodness Jordy isn't here to see this. <laughs> Super Max. No. His, his tentacle, his mouth tentacles are clipping through it. Goodbye, Max. Bye. Bye. What? Where is he going? He's teleporting himself far away. Save the city. Where the what? explosion was. Where did he go? Basically, Max got impaled by a Mametron and we were too late, but we were all able to get out in time, but 
He's Max teleported. still has all that psychic energy and is gonna yeah. teleport somewhere. I almost had Damn it. Oh. Everything. And then you no, no, that's all. That's all you missed, really. Yes. And no, but still. The last you mean you want to see Max impaled? No, I just didn't want to miss out, but my mom needed me. Hang on. Just get me far away from. Didn't I tell you to get rid of that cell phone? Like cell phone. How are we getting reception in space? Me. We're teleporting what? to her number. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's right, because he still technically has those powers. Goodbye, Max. Max? Oh, I see what he did. He sacrificed himself. What? Mm -hmm. Blow up stinky skunk ape and salmon so, mock and yeah, all the other mark. psychic stuff. Well, thankfully, it's, it's just characters we don't care about. Oh, transfer in secret. Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm making all this up as I go along. That's fair. Oh, and, and I guess we couldn't get back Grandpa Stinky's body because so it was still on the ship. Oh, well, shit. Oh. He'll, he'll just be a monkey for now on. Go. Let's do it. Yeah, well. I'll just need a sample of his DNA. One that's less sample than one DNA. week old. Um, we can maybe clone Max. Oh, the mucus that we came at when we were sneezed out. Oh, apparently you, should, you have that. Mama Bosco. It should be crawling with Max DNA. God knows what else. <laughs> Perfect. This should only take also, a few minutes. I don't minutes. how Lincoln got in here. How, that's more or less how he fit in here. He really had to it. crunch up. Maybe Three. this can work. <laughs> Will it work? Better work. Let's see. Pray we don't have another abomination on our hands. Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, where what? is he? What happened? It looks like Max's DNA is just too <laughs> weird for my machines to be able to reproduce. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. What? Oh, I'm sorry, oh. Sam. No! Tough hey. break, Samo. At least he went out saving the universe. As president, I'd just like to offer my... I can't do this now. I just can't. <laughs> He's just having wow. an emotion. No, no. Super Bowl, come back. Oh. Max. Now how will we how will we produce more comics? Now how are we gonna get that Kickstarter for a new TV show? Or video is the, game. Is is there a Kickstarter? No, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's one somewhere. Or I'd love like to a, see one. All this time, I, I'm surprised I, that Steve, Steve Parcell hasn't done something along those lines. I'm surprised in all this time that we've gone a full throttle and Monkey Island remake. No one's done a remake of Hit the Road yet. Hmm. Uh, probably licensing issues. Uh, it, yeah. Wow, that's that's it. That's sad. That was Sam and Max season three. There. <gasps> just it's up there's something after the credits. Yeah, I know. Oh, Moving oh, on. Duh. Well, so that's the, same, that's the to, case with all the seasons, but yeah. Well, this is no, no no better time than any to do this, but this whole Telltale series, I still, as much as everyone will, you know, give, and I just finished The Walking Dead, the, the final season recently, like, all the critical acclaim going around, I still genuinely love what they did with Sam and Max. The same. weirdness, the humor, like, the stylize of everything. It, it's still it one of my favorite like point-of-click series. Yeah, yeah, because they had the actual author like involved and name or bait. It's the sign twirler. Uh, hey, buddy. Good to see you still got it. Oh. He's now, the... he now he feels the sad. Oh. But, so just saying, getting to play this again, all, all these seasons again to record, it was fun to just explore it all. Sam doesn't even feel like stopping crime anymore. Aww, he's not but, the yeah. Max. But yeah, so that being said, this has all been really just so much fun to you know revisit with everyone and show off to james all the weirdness and to show hype more of the series and i guess in doing this now i guess and intentionally introduce jordy to all of it <laughs> <laughs> i will say i do love this i do love this series and i'm i'm glad even though i was late coming into it that you know i got to experience all of this so thank you logan and everyone else you're welcome wow. And, uh, but yeah, and, and, and yeah, we'll get more to more closing thoughts, but we are getting close to that little stinger thingy. Man, yes. they did a lot. But, yeah. but just saying, I, you. I do yes, I, I, I do hope the that Telltale... Tell, tell, including I, I do, Brendan Ferguson. Max I do hope the that dog. Some, I, do, uh, I do hope that at some point Telltale want, do, does go back to classic point of play. Just point of click adventure games, I think, can still be fun. Well, Telltale's mm -hmm. dead. Yeah, I was about to okay, say. I hope Skybound or someone else... Oh. Oh. Hmm? Oh, we weren't looking where we were going. 
Oh yeah, we're still gonna fix that later. Ah, uh, we'll fix it in post. Uh, well, at least I still got my hat. Mm. And it just blows away in the wind. Devil, damn it! No. Oh, oh, you're, you're leaving behind. behind? That Sam. What? what the? Wait, what? What? The, the heck is that? <gasps> That's the. That's the elevator from season two, the time what? traveling one. What the hell? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Man, that place looks weird. Oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> what the? Oh. oh. Princes of Maine and kings of New England in a glass oh, bottom boat with a trip hop DJ and the second runner up in the Miss Teen. Oh, holy Olympics. shit! It's past Max. It's past Max. Past over. Max. What's shaking? Max. Oh. I thought you were. Wait a second. Where's the past me? Oh, yeah, about that. We were on a case, and you got turned into a giant monster with electromagnetic oh. power. So, oh. we to blow you so literally, <laughs> so literally, this Max was it, it was doing an entire flip flop no scenario. Wait. And they've. So, want to stop some crimes? What? Get your hat. Oh. And now. Uh, and so, if I said that I liked exploring, this is the ending we would get right here. Where we go in the elevator. Sweet. Me up, nice. Up into the world of time. Get your hat. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, what about the hat? Wait. Hold on. Where did you go? I forgot it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, now oh, it's I thought the little cockroach. I thought Sam. I thought Sam Junior was gonna get it. <laughs> Actually, what I would have liked to say is, and now, the but the, now there's one other ending. Which okay. is at the back at early yeah, this only turned out to be one of two possible endings. Max comes back in both of them. Uh, all that changed. Uh, one depended on a choice Sam made about what he wanted most from Max's return. So it's supposed to recall an adventure. I'm going to recall crime Without fight. Max, I'd be just I mean, all things are there. That, that first ending was pretty touching, but I can only imagine scene, what this one will be like. I just think that I just listen. I just think the theme and the tone of this fashion. next one is just so sure, much nicer to me. Sell, like, granny panties yeah, in a nunnery. I will but would agree. I be happy? Not yeah, really. listen. Let's see. Guided by his desires for esoteric, personalized brands of criminal justice, the fates wrote a new conclusion. Oh, one that I find much more awesome. Oh, <laughs> you added that in. Okay. Just, just saying. saying. Just saying. <laughs> I like how you emulated okay. the text. Yeah, no, that is like... It, oh, it's a font, that. yeah. So, once again, the entire beginning... The, this whole cutscene plays out mostly the same, except for a few differences. Mm. Well, for one Let's thing, he has his hat. Oh. Oh, <gasps> oh hello. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Thanks! Oh, princes of Maine and kings of New England and I did kind of like the build from the first scene, DJ though. The yeah. The yeah. Wait, ew. Ew. Did you see belly button lint? No, that, that's an eye animation he has. Max, I thought you were... Wait a second, where's the but yeah, just me? I'll I listen again, because I, I love how he says it was horrible. Yeah, he's yeah. talking about yeah. how he had to kill us. Electromagnetic powers, so Big monster. I kind of had to blow you up. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Yeesh. So, so, this is so I see. awkward. Um... So, wanna stop some crimes? What? Where do we start, pal? I heard there's a new supervillain in town called The Banker. He's created a board game. That kills- The <laughs> Monopoly <laughs> Man snapped! But anyway, <laughs> let's get out here. There's rumblings that the horrible Rat Queen has been summoning all her minions to her secret nest beneath the city, subsuming them into her blood-caked fur to form the unstoppable Uber Rat, Empress of Slaughter. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, I can subdue her with my acid slick whip like tongue. You don't have an acid slick whip like tongue. Oh, well, I can still drool on her till she begs So it says <laughs> nothing ever. <laughs> wait, 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 what? What? what the? That's a giant cockroach. Oh. oh. That the Sam Max season three. <laughs> nice. So yeah, just in case anyone was super confused there, that was past Max who will learn who back from season two, and I guess they went on yes, Matt, they went on their own parallel yeah. adventure to ours. Basi but in that one, Max had to kill Sam, and we had to kill Max. But honestly, this is pretty much this is pretty much you know more or less the same. So yep, the duo is still back in action. Yep, it's pretty much as if nothing ever happened. Goodness me, things are back like to the way they're, they're supposed to be. So yeah, I guess and all it uh, took was it all it took was a few paradoxes. 
So, I guess then Wait, starting with so, James, this So, did all... you have to deal with mm -hmm. Sam and Mac, too? I actually had to deal with Mac and Sam. Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, wait, no, I think his name was Macintosh. Macintosh. <laughs> so, I guess yep. starting with, I guess starting with James, uh, since this was all mostly blind for you uh, at this point forward, what did you think of the whole season? It was pretty insane, all things considered. I mean, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a no-shit deal considering the subject matter, and I'm just going to scroll down the video so Silver can stop looking at me with those illustrious <laughs> But, uh, <Yeah>. anyway, <laughs> just, I mean, it's funny looking back on it, because, like, with the first go, I thought it was already pretty nuts back then and there, but, like, it just, like, the further it went on, it just, it just, up, it just amped it up to crazy degrees, and, well, it goes without saying, we pretty much reached the how far Sam Max can go in this kind of medium. Totally. At least at the at least at the time. Say if there's ever a new Sam and Max thing, I think you'll find find ways to make it even weirder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Just I would like to see a return to them because they just there's they just have this weird style and non sequitur like randomness that I think I feel like only they can pull off. Yeah, because in some ways they're like the originators of that kind of humor. Well, yeah, like, and because their world is so weird and crazy as it is, like, that's or maybe what not so much originators, cool. but they were, like, the ones that popularized it. Right, and, like, their world is so crazy and weird that I can totally buy all of it happening. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about, uh, what about, uh, you, Matt, since you kind of just hopped in on this, for this season in particular? So, yeah, so season three, I didn't play the whole thing. I did play the first part, though I did watch, uh, late, like, stuff that happened in later episodes. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do want to play, I do want to play the series. I love Sam and Max, at least the original comics and the TV show, um, and I still want to play Hit the Road. I, I believe I played a little bit of it, um, long, long time ago, but I really like, uh, Sam and Max. It's, they're one of my favorites, and I, I love detective noir stuff and any spoofs of it as well. Yeah, which definitely seems to be what they were going for with this. Yep. Um, so then I guess, uh, lastly, Hype, how about you? You're the one who had, uh, at least going into this, but, you know, apart from myself, you had the most exposure to Sam and Max and stuff up until this point. Mm -hmm, because up until that point, um, actually, I'm not quite sure how thoroughly I got into my general history with Sam and Max throughout all the seasons we did, but... A lot of it was mainly for my brother, because he kind of got me interested in a lot of the point-and-click games that Telltale did. He even made me, like, a CD filled with all the games that they had, and he even bought oh, me, nice. like, seasons 1 and 3 of the Telltale series years ago. Um, unfortunately, cool. it's like, I still have the disc. Unfortunately, I don't have the download code, so I probably won't be able to play them again until they, like, do, like, a re-release, but that's a completely different can of worms. That being said... Uh, I do have to just echo what everyone says. I really do enjoy Sam and Max just because of, just because of just the absurdity. It's like, it's like kind of non sequitur absurdity that's like, it's kind of like that fine art of non sequitur absurdity that, as far as I know, only Sam and Max can master in the way that they master it. And I think it's captured perfectly in pretty much any medium they're in, like the comics, the cartoon, the shows. But actually, yeah, the comics, the cartoon, the games. Um. I will say, like, if I did have to, like, pick my favorite iteration of Sam and Max, I think I would still lean up just a little bit more towards the cartoon, but I still really love all the stuff that Telltale did with it, like, throughout all the seasons. The and it's just... bathrooms. If these walls could talk, I think it's better I... if they keep their mouths shut. Yeah, and it's like... But, but, but yeah, and, like, but, but, like, that's the thing, that, like, it always felt like Sam and Max. Like, it never felt like a huge, like diversion or like you know branch away from the common path it always felt like it regardless of the medium mm -hmm. i will i will say though compared to the cartoon i do think that i do think by comparison the telltale games are a little more easier they're a little easier to comprehend just because uh, it's not it's i know i remember with what bits of the cartoon it's mostly like a blink and miss sort of thing but here like they don't go quite as blistering fast it's, it's more easier accessible. to comprehend he says how well that's because you missed out a couple parts and that and that was our fault We're, we apologize it was yeah stuff, that's but, fine. but but yeah it, i do think the telltale i do think personally if i was to introduce anyone to sam and max period i would show them the games first agreed 
and then from there maybe start off branching out to the cartoons and to the comic books. But yeah, I just I feel like the, and I and I and that's what I also enjoy about the whole Telltale thing. Definitely at the end of the day was that. I I had no idea about Sam and Max before this. This series was my introduction to the duo. It's pretty much on the same boat here. So, if, if St- I know Steve Purcell is still active, I know Steve Purcell still does some things and stuff. If he if he was to start a Kickstarter to do something to work with some company to bring back whoever did the remake of was it was it Lucas Arts or was it a different company that did the remake of Full Throttle? Um, I th- I think Lucas Ar- Lucas Arts published it, but I don't think they actually handled the making of it. Well, if someone's able if, if someone's able to get to work on doing some sort of project to help bring back Hit the Road or something to like bring Sam and Max back, Sam and Max. I just back. imagine in the world of Sam and Max, it just I can just imagine a conversation. So Sam, are you ready for our next adventure? Actually, buddy, the company that makes our games is out of business now and kind of dead. Oh, get the cloning machine! <laughs> you know, uh, you know, in, you know. Talking, going back to hit the road real quick. I mean, yeah, we're pretty much done with the um, with the overall Telltale trilogy. Though that at the same time, though, the only thing we ever did with hit the road was uh, just a simple look at that I did we, years ago. We, yeah, I just, I, that's pretty much going to go into what I'm about to say. Why don't we just upgrade that to a commentary so that way we at least have a little bit of Sam Max to go before we're completely done with this franchise. I Honestly, I don't mind. mind. I'm, I'd be I, up for it. Sure thing. Do you, want me, do you want me to do the recording or you want Hype to do that one? Um, I don't, it, unless... Uh, what I'm trying to say. I'm willing to do it if push comes to shove, but if you really want to do it, I'd, I'd be happy to lend it to you. I can do it. Yeah, I can load it up on GOG or something. It's got to be somewhere. But yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, sure. It'll take a little bit of time to, re- to record, but uh, de- but definitely. I... I it's just a fun series. I, mean, I hope I hope that in all of our wa- I hope that in all of our weird reactions and try and bafflement of what's happening that we've been able to convey. This it's it's an exciting and it's a very to me creative series. It it goes places you would not expect it to go, and it just do, it doesn't limit itself as at least in terms of its storytelling, game mechanics. That's one thing, but with its creativity, I've never felt that it's limited itself. Oh yeah, no. Like it just yeah. goes all. It just go. It just goes all. It goes out with its tits a flying. You know, it is. <laughs> it is just one of the most creative series just ever. Mm-hmm. On that yeah. note, ladies and gentlemen, I do think we're droning this on a little bit long. So, yeah. uh, Logan, would you mind um, ending us off? That said, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into all three seasons of the Telltale series of Sam and Max. I've been Lucky Jack Twenty. I do believe we forgot to see what what see uh, Sybil's baby. <laughs> do we really Please want to know. <laughs> right, I mean, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm James the Extreme. I'm Jordan the Cat Eleven. I'm Ronnie J. Sam. Max. Whatever. And I do believe now's a good time to again contact with a much better suitor of. Good night. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Bye. Mwah! Good night, everybody!